A blessed Friday to all of you, my dear friends. Our gospel for today is taken from Mark chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. And this is a wonderful story of Jesus healing a deaf man. My name is Abiong Kahlo and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Allow me to share and highlight three things here. First is the Greek word for impediment in speech is mogilalos. And you know how many times it appears in the New Testament? Only once. This is very unique in the New Testament. And Mark uses this word mogilalos because he wants his hearers to actually remember the prophet Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah prophesied about the Messiah who will be coming and save Jerusalem. And one of the signs is the great wonders and the great healings that this Messiah will do. But this Messiah was not only the Messiah for the Jews. In this gospel, we can see that Jesus traveled to the Decapolis, which is actually a Gentile territory. Jesus ministers to the Gentiles as well people or nations outside Israel. The second thing I'd like to highlight is that Jesus kind of used a different method in healing this deaf man. He puts his finger inside the ears and then he spat and then touched the tongue. Well, it sounds gross. We don't, it's gross, it's not so hygienic but in the world that was very personal the third thing I want to highlight is the fact that this deaf man was brought by his friends it was his friends who got the attention of Jesus Christ just like the four friends who brought a paralytic man by destroying the roof brought the paralytic man to Jesus. Now, how can we make this personal? First is that Jesus, as the Messiah, is also here. He also came for you and for me. We are the Gentiles. Jesus wants to reach out to all of us as well. He came not only to save the Jews, He came to save you and me included. And the second thing is that he reaches out to us in a very personal way, just like what he did to the deaf man. He spat, touched his tongue, put his ears, put his finger inside the ear. Because if he just says, you know, you're healed, the deaf man couldn't hear him. But Jesus uses something that's very personal. The third thing, is that have you ever brought someone to Jesus? Are you a friend who brings your friend to Jesus that he might heal him? Well, let's ponder on these three points. Let's pray and thank God for reaching out to us in a very personal way. But let's also respond to God by sharing our love to others, by allowing others to experience Jesus' healing as well. God bless us all.